Sweetie by Andrea Zuwil. Sweetie was awkward, even for a naked mole rat. Please note that naked mole rats are born without fur, but not without the love of clothes. The illustrator is grateful for this since she didn't have to draw a bunch of highly embarrassing pictures. Well, aren't you Grandma's little square peg? Hmm? Her own grandmother called her a little square peg. Sweetie didn't exactly know what that meant. But she did know that she didn't always fit in. Sweetie could be intense. My doll's name is Ellie. She likes cupcakes. My doll is David. My grandma gave him to me. This is Sunshine. She wants to be a doctor. Who's your doll, sweetie? This is warrior Princess Zorna, friend of the friendless destroyer of evil, lover of chocolate beet cake with cream cheese frosting. Her favorite color is aubergine, and my mom made her for me. And people found her hobbies a bit bizarre. Would you like to come over to my house and help me identify fungi? No, thank you. Occasionally, Sweetie did things that others had a hard time comprehending, like the day she gave her book report through interpretive dance. Uh, what book is this? There were times when Sweetie wondered what it would be like to be someone else, someone like Deb. Deb always said the right thing and had stylish friends. Best of all, she had beautiful hair. Sweetie wanted hair like Deb's. Deb's hair? Deb. She thought maybe she should try a wig. Hmm, feels itchy. Then there were times when Sweetie just felt like being Sweetie. The best days were when Aunt Ruth visited. Aunt Ruth understood Sweetie perfectly. She didn't think Sweetie's hobbies were weird. Really, not a single one. Sweetie and her aunt loved going through old family photo albums. Sweetie especially liked the pictures of her mom and her aunt when they were her age. On her most recent visit, Aunt Ruth talked about how she was called a square peg when she was young. Sweetie was starting to understand what that meant. Aunt Ruth said that being different was one of the best things about her life and that if you stayed true to yourself, you'd find your people. That made Sweetie think. Were there really people out there for her? How would they recognize her? How would she recognize them? Was there a secret handshake she'd have to learn? She really hoped there was a secret handshake. Sweetie wondered how many times she'd been close to one of her people and not knowing it. What if she stepped it up a notch? Would her people be able to spot her more easily? My name is Sweetie. I like dancing, mushrooms, and rainy days. You two need to find your people? Maybe we're a match. Flyers are available. Sweetie. Or would she just seem desperate? For now, she'd trust Aunt Ruth, continue to do her favorite things, and be herself. And maybe she'd try a couple of new hobbies, just for fun. Whoa. Very nice, sweetie. After all, being sweetie wasn't so bad. Ah, <sighs> they're beautiful. In fact, it could be pretty awesome. Well, aren't you a fuzzy little caterpillar? And who knew when someone else pretty awesome might come along? Oh my gosh, isn't that the cutest little caterpillar?
My name is Sandy. Your shirt is wonderful. I wouldn't mind having a shirt with a mushroom on it. I love mushrooms. My favorite is Gyromitra Esculenta. It looks like a brain. Hi, Sandy. My name's Sweetie. Would you like to learn a secret handshake? <gasps> yes. Thank you. For all those who have accepted their inner oddball.